Greetings from Southeast Texas. Congratulations, graduates. I'm, I'm looking at the list of those who graduated, and, and, and quite honestly, I'm wondering how some of you made it. Carrie, look at this. This guy's name's on the list. Can you believe that? Yeah. It says he graduated from college? That's what it says. Hard to believe. <laughs> In all seriousness, uh, I, I am very proud of each one of you. It is good to see so many cool names on this list, and you worked so hard to get to where you where you are now. And when I look at this list, there are a lot of things that I think of, and I, I think of a lot of memories that, that come back. Uh, uh, times when we went to Rock City Rampage, or Need to Know Road Trip, or CIY, or Believe, or Times at Wave, or uh, trips to Taco Bell, and, and I think of all those things that we, we used to do, those things we shared, and I'm just so thankful. Uh, I'm just so thankful that God allowed me to be a part of your life and that uh, he allowed you to be a part of my life. And it's been a blessing that our lives intersected in the way that it did. And, and you know, it, no matter where I may be and no matter where you may be, uh, you'll always be my little seahorses and I'll always love you very much. And, you know, I just look at the list and I cannot wait to see what God does uh, in your lives. And so uh, wherever God leads you from this point forward, whatever you're doing, glorify God in everything that you do. And I'll, I'll share with you the words of wisdom that my father shared with me when I graduated. He said, get a job. So anyway, I love you all very much uh, from my family uh, to, to yours, uh, from the beards to uh, all of you at Christ Church. We love you and we miss you. And thanks for the opportunity. Again, congratulations, graduates. Oh, uh, hey, hey guys, uh, just uh, just dropping in, just wanted to uh, I wish those of you that are graduating this year uh, or have graduated already, just want to wish you uh, my heartfelt congratulations from the West Coast. Uh, just want to say uh, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your lives, uh, to be able to serve you guys in the way that I have and, and, and for you to, uh, I guess, put up with me more than anything else uh, in my time there in Tiffin. I'm so excited for you guys in the future. Uh, that is before you, uh, the choices that you're going to make and the things that you're going to do. Uh, I'm pretty excited for, for all of you uh, and what that's going to bring. And, and, and so my prayer uh, continually uh, for you guys is going to be to uh, to continue to uh, to follow after Jesus. Uh, there's so many things in this world that there's such a struggle. And if we don't hold on uh, to him, we don't hold on to the truth, uh, we can be led astray. Uh, and the one thing above all else that I'll still mention that I've mentioned millions of times uh, and I will continue till the day I die is please understand so much uh, that there is nothing in this world that you could ever do to make God love you any less. Uh, I know it's my big catchphrase. It's the main thing I always say uh, and I always talk about it, but it's more true uh, than we could ever begin to understand and realize. Uh, so please hold on to that. Uh, hold on to Jesus. Uh, in the times that are uh, that are difficult and the times that are good, please uh, remember to hang on to him and, and really God bless your futures. Uh, and, and I hope for the best uh, for all of you, uh, whether you're going to pursue into college uh, or, or finding your new career and the things that you do, uh, I hope that you will put God in the forefront of your lives uh, and allow him to work through you uh, for his kingdom. And God bless you guys. Love you so much.